what does the supply chain advantage look like? Start with 12,000 experienced teammates, add the precision of 20 modern distribution centers, the reach of one of the nation's largest fleets, merchandising solutions that drive sales, and custom technology applications that make doing business easy. Together, it's how we enable you to buy better, sell smarter, and profit more. McLean, your supply chain advantage in action. Hi, this is Samantha Oyer with CSP TV. I'm here with John Strickland, Jr., CEO of Wayne Oil Company, and they're headquartered in Goldsboro, North Carolina, and have 14 ballpark stores. We're here to talk a little bit about tobacco and starting out with OTP. I know that you like to have the product out on your floors where you can, correct? Is, are you concerned at all that uh, with FDA having oversight of tobacco that that's good? not going to become an option for you anymore? Well, it's interesting you bring that up. We have just started moving the racks we had on the floor to the back bar behind the counter because of the legislation. So we decided to get a little proactive in that arena. I think the critical issue will be maintaining visibility for the consumer. As long as they can see it, they will ask for it. If we're all in the same boat where nobody can merchandise it on the floor and we all are going to be in that issue, you know, that scenario, then we'll be okay. The trick is keeping the racks full, keeping them stocked, keeping them tagged, and communicating effectively with the consumer what the product is that you have, that you have theirs, that's in stock, not having it under the counter, but merchandised appropriately. Well, let's talk a little bit um, about cigars. I know that there's also buzz about FDA clamping down on flavored cigars sometime in the future. Um, I guess, how concerned are you about that? Is, is our flavored cigars a, a huge piece of your business? That is where the growth has come from, quite frankly. And yeah, I'm very worried that we're not going to be able to market a flavored cigarette, cigar in the future just because of that. That's where the growth came from. So what do we do? We're going to be backing up, and we're going to only be able to offer a cigar. So I'm, I'm deeply concerned. There may very well be nothing we can do about it. But if that's what it is, that's what it is. And of course, there's other uh, areas with an OTP that you can focus on, like Moist Smokeless, where we're headed to next. Well, John, I know that uh, ballpark stores are really focused on premium uh, moist smokeless, but uh, the growth trends also really seem to be pretty strong in uh, discounts. So how are you kind of balancing your interest in premium against uh, discount? And uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, what that means you know, within your store in terms of your offering. Well, again, every store has its own unique planogram, just strictly tailored to the sales volumes of that location based on scan data. You have to take a very holistic view of the category, though. Premium is growing with us. We're still on about a 25% growth pattern with premium moist at this time. However, I cannot shy away from the fact that our mid-tier and low-end moist is growing at a faster rate on a percentage basis, but it still does not bring in those two categories combined do not bring in the dollar volume that premium brings in for us. So we're, we're cognizant of it, we're aware of it. Now we have started to break out the pouch moist and it is growing at a almost a 54% clip with us right now. So that's the one product we're watching today. Still being very aggressive even in the price points with the moist on the low end of the scale and at the high end of the scale. And since the uh, cigarette manufacturers have gotten involved in the, in, in the OTP business and, and moist, uh, moist smokeless in, in particular, what changes have you seen um, for, for good or, or for, for worse? It's been an interesting ride. Uh, the cigarette, people, moist is a totally different discipline than cigarettes. And they've transitioned this product, the, the moist product now over to cigarette reps who I don't think fully appreciate the value it brings to us, the retailer, and that it needs its own separate focus in our store. It is, it's just a product that doesn't compare it, and there's been a lot of data I've seen in the industry that say that smokers are also dippers, but I don't see that to be the case in our stores. You know, John, there has been uh, a lot of talk uh, recently about FDA next taking a look at menthol um, and uh, 
trying to figure out what their approach to it is going to be. How concerned are you, I guess, about the potential that, that menthol might be uh, outlawed in terms of a, a flavoring uh, for tobacco? And what um, role does menthol play within your set right now in terms of its contribution overall to sales? I'm very concerned about a potential ban on menthol. Uh, it, there's been no complete definition yet on whether it's going to be outlawed or ruled out or not allowed to be produced anymore. It represents a significant amount of our business with all of the manufacturers, uh, Newport most especially. The, I do suspect that the, re, that the manufacturers are a little bit concerned as well. We're seeing Newport actually roll out next month a non-menthol cigarette in our market. What concerns me the most about this is if, if we're looking to cigarettes for tax revenue, which apparently we are, and we kill off the menthol, I don't see the menthol smoker transitioning over to a non-menthol cigarette. I'm sure some will, but I'm a little bit concerned that the tax revenue that's projected won't be there and we may have to either up, up the taxes again to compensate for it. But the menthol smoker to us is, is a very profitable consumer. They're looking for a very specific product. We carry it, we make sure it's in stock 100% of the time. And we have a program designed to make sure we're in stock on those items in our stores. We do very well with it because of that and an aggressive pricing promotion. So where we go from here, I don't know. It seems like some days we're playing in a game and there's no rules to the game and somebody from a third party is gonna tell us whether we won or lost. Well, thanks again, John, for walking the next show floor with me. For CSP TV, I'm Samantha O'Year. What does a supply chain advantage look like? Start with 12,000 experienced teammates. Add the precision of 20 modern distribution centers. The reach of one of the nation's largest fleets. Merchandising solutions that drive sales and custom technology applications that make doing business easy. Together, it's how we enable you to buy better, sell smarter, and profit more. McLean, your supply chain advantage in action.